The linear members, such as beams and columns, of frame structures modelled in analytical applications like STAD Pro, are normally assumed to have constant profiles from one end of the member to the other. The section properties of the profile are the basis of the stiffness terms that are used in analysis routines. However, there are many instances where the profile is not constant and varies along its length by having a web that tapers. These are often found in large open structures where it makes sense to expand the profile and, ex and stiffness at the locations where the forces are greatest. StadPro has always supported this in the analytical model, but now the physical model has been extended to provide this capability too. That includes ensuring that if the taper member is subdivided into analytical parts, then each one is assumed and assigned to have its own appropriate taper profile for the analysis. A simple portal frame will be used to illustrate the use of tapers on a physical model. This frame will span 10 meters with three meter high columns and an apex at four meters. To create a basic, uh, basic arrangement, we will make use of a simple regular grid. For this example, we will have both beams and columns created using the same basic profile. These sections are typically fabricated from plate steel. So in the catalog, we can add a new wide flange prismatic profile, which we will call main and enter the dimensions of a section at a suitable location. Defining the smallest section is a sensible choice. The calculate button will show the properties of the section, but clearly when used to define a taper, these values are there only for information as the properties will vary as the profile varies. The base profile is now ready for use. The members are selected and the profile main, which has automatically been added to the model during the definition, is ready for assignment. The rendered view now shows that the profile has been assigned, but the members also need to be assigned a suitable material. Here we are using a generic steel. The rendered 3D view now shows our model with standard untapered prismatic base sections. Now let's make these tapers. In our example, each member should have an overall depth of 400 millimeters at one end and 600 millimeters at the other. The columns narrow at the base and wider at the eaves and the rafters wider at the eaves and narrower at the apex. Note that we can use the local axes label to see the direction of each member to confirm which is the start and which is the end. With all members selected, we just want to change the end depth to 600 millimeters. In doing so, we can see that the columns are correctly tapered, narrower at the base and wider at the eaves. The rafters, however, have the taper assigned the wrong way around. So let's change that. Note also that the taper should flare inside the building. We will address that shortly. The correction is made by selecting just the rafters and rerunning the taper tool. This time, the start is set to 600 millimeters and the end to 400 millimeters. This now has the members with their tapers in the correct direction. But as mentioned earlier, the alignment is not the way we want it as the default alignment is based on the centroid of the profile. In the physical modeler though, we have an opportunity to make a simple change to adjust this and indicate that the node points represent the outside envelope of the frame. To achieve that, we will set these to be the top center of the section and the beam is moved down and the column moved in so that the flanges follow the building envelope defined by the node points. Analytical connectivity is retained by introducing rigid links similar to that when manually putting in member offsets. Now the physical model is ready for the rest of the structure to be added and the loading assigned, but those we will cover in other videos.